What's up? It's Scriv. Introductory to the Molly Cell P26A, P26A OEM version. This is the capacity test. See, that is the um, discharge, 2,691 milliamp hours. That's from 4.2 to 2.8. This one is 2,741 milliamp hours. This is the Molly Cell P26A. <coughs> and this comes... This is a battery I have in stock at the minute, and um, I think this is the best batch so far, i.e. the first batch. My friend bought a massive amount of these um, about half a year ago, and he's had them in good storage since, and they're very good cells. These outperform the, uh, the QR code one. Which I'm sure Molly Cell will not be happy with me saying, but <laughs> they do. I can show you data on this. I'll just get that up. I test batteries, that's what I do in my spare time. Let me get rid of this ridiculous pop-up. I only use this computer for battery testing, really. I do go on YouTube and stuff, but anyway... First we'll check out just the Molly Cell P26A QR code. Still very respectable. This is from 4.2 to 2.5 volts, the standard mentioned in the data sheet which I have below me. Um, 2630, we'll call it, milliamp hours. That's still good. Good line. Good cell. However, this is my batch better line 2007 oh wait sorry wrong one it is uh shit shiza oh, where is he oh there it is oh no wait that's not it oh that is it 2771 now I think I deleted the one, this accidentally got left on the, I tested a cell that goes down to 2 volts, I, so this one went down to 2 volts unfortunately, so obviously that's a little bit exaggerated but I swear to god the last capacity, I must have deleted the last one, I got 2717 milliamp hours so just a little bit more capacity when it's a little bit less capacity at two at two point five volts, but still a better performing cell, definitely. <clears throat> so um, yeah, and the heat uh, I measured the temperature and um, at twenty amps I tested these twenty point five amps technically, um. Got up to about 68, 69 degrees Celsius, the cell, which is good operating temperature. I truly believe it is a 25 amp cell, based on that. Um, I suppose we could give them a quick weigh. Some very accurate scales. Forty-five point eight two three. So nearly forty-six grams, which is pretty standard. When you buy them, this is my Molly Cell box. I've got about forty-two left or something. There's the data sheets. Um, it comes in a nice carton like this. Packs inside the two little boxes. <clears throat> they're my cells. The two there, the two there, and the two in my mod right now. Oh no, I've got my cell in my mod at the minute. <clears throat> These are my two. I love this cell to pieces. 
it's powering my TFV16 tank from Smock, which I don't know anybody else in the UK who has this tank at the minute. Seems like no one's talking about it really. I've just seen a lot of American YouTubers go on about it. I haven't seen anyone in the UK with it. Maybe because they don't have a TBD version yet. But on Amazon, like the, I know Amazon, you can always get a non-TBD version. As soon as a tank comes out, there's always a seller who's quick in there to sell them as many as they can before they get shut down. So luckily I got the tank, which I'll show you on my XPRIV. Using the A plus cell, which is my cell. I'll do a video on that um, another day. But it's a very powerful 120 watts, so you're going to need a good couple cells for that. Oh, and I did find it. And I lied slightly. I was... Um, um, oh, okay, I'm do basic math. I was 9 milliamp hours off. I got 2,708 milliamp hours, which is more believable. At this is the Molly cell P two six A my batch. So the light blue lines my batch, and the dark blue line is the regular QR code batch. So it's not much difference, just but you can see mine's that tiny bit better. Obviously, um, mine goes down to two volts. So scrap this section here but yeah you can see it's clearly a better cell here's a molly cell specification sheet this is the most detailed data sheet i've seen so far normally it's just a little uh, all together kind of spec sheety type data sheet but as you see it's it should be see fresh cell measured by ac impedance at 1k hertz under 12, 20 milliohms it should be uh, 12 milliohms is what it should be i think it, they've actually changed the data sheet since then because i swear it used to say categorically it should be 12 milliohms or under so we're gonna put one let's take this one <laughs> I'm going to pause this while I put it in the rack. As you see, 11.45, 11.46. So as you can see, that's about as much data as I can show to prove that they are the real deal. I have these. I was charging £11.50 for two. I'll actually do the deal of £10 for two free UK first class shipping. I also have many other A grade cells, 30Q, the HG2, the 20S, and the LJ MJ1. Um, all A grade, I've got only 10 20S, 10 HG2s, 28 30Qs, and 28 MJ1s, but that's for a different video. So, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll put my email address in the description. Sleep tight.